In the heart of the Therapane Divisional Secretariat, nestled within a Narodapura district of Sri Lanka's north central province, emerges a tale that transcends time. A tale entitled Longest Rescue Mission, the Saga of Agbo the Elephant. <laughs> In a landscape teeming with life, there strides a titan among us, a colossus elephant named Agbo. His narrative is one of resilience, where nature's grandeur converges with the intricacies of human existence. The journey to Agbo's tale begins in 2012, when intrepid wildlife officers ventured into the lush embrace of the Ritagala jungle, drawn by the mystique of untouched wilderness. There, near the shores of Agbo Tank, an architectural marvel fashioned by the hand of King Agbo II between 608 and 618 AD, they encountered a magnificent creature, a gargantuan elephant bearing tusks that stretched forth with dignity and pride. In reverence to the nearby Agbo Lake, they christened him Agbo, a name destined to become emblematic of the trials and triumphs of wildlife conservation. To officialdom, he is the elephant of Therapana, but to those who hold a deep affection to the untamed, he is simply Agbo. You <laughs> Huh? <laughs> 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 
ఏనో ఏనో చేయించుకోడానికి అండి విలే ఇద్దాండి అని రేపండి బలాగరే కాంట మేమొకరే సేఫ్టీ దాయము ఎక్కపారలు అంకరండి పా స్పీడ్ నేనే మేము అరవై ఏడు స్పీడ్ అనేది అవులు అన్నా సింగల్ మారు ఎందుకులో అదే మారు స్పీడ్ దేను Agbo is not your run of the mill elephant. He stands as one of the most formidable tuskers in the region, a majestic presence traversing the domains of Therapane, Mahakandrawa, and Harupathana. Yet his resilient exterior bears the scars of tragedy, marred by countless bullet wounds, scars that may well number in the hundreds. However, August 10th, 2023, etched a perilous chapter into Agbo's life, a chapter that would not be unveiled until two days later. A sinister trap cunningly laid by trophy hunters wielding illegal, locally crafted firearms inflicted a grievous wound upon his front right leg. Despite the earnest efforts of authorities, the initial two days remained agonizingly futile in locating him. The news of Agbo's plight surged through the collective consciousness of the public. The voices of animal lovers, dedicated wildlife photographers, and conscientious citizens harmonized into a resounding chorus of concern compelling the authorities to muster their most formidable resources. Ultimately, Agbo was found within the boundaries of Therapane, where he has since undergone more than 20 treatments. పెద్ద మేమే అరగానే అరవగండ అంకర అయితే పెద్ద అరవగండ అరుణ హరి అరుణ తమిళ్ కి పెద్ద అరవగండ దూర వెడీ వగే దూర వెడీ లంకర కండ
दूर गए हुए त्यान ने कैदना मांगी हुई थी वो का आश्रय किया था मुझे आश्रय किया था मुझे क्या नाम बेरी देखा पीटे दिए नॉन पाह Dah makan agan deh. Nah, betul nak betul nak. Ina ngaruh, ngaruh ina. Dah ngaruh yang dua nih, di mana lihat itu? Kahit? Dah tolong. Ah, ngaruh ini. Paling ada di dalam bukit, paling ada di luar. Tapi kalau kita lihat, kita lihat. Tapi kalau kita lihat, kita lihat. काके पोटे आप को गया थी पोटे आप को क्या कहते हैं ले जाने बैन है अतरिंग है The medical challenges confronting Agbo are formidable, weighing a staggering 4,000 kilograms. Tranquilizing Agbo is a feat of remarkable proportions. His gunshot wound disrupted the intricate framework of his wrist bones, particularly the carpals, inviting a pernicious bacterial infection. Immediate treatments focused on halting the infection's insidious spread, all the while awaiting bacterial culture results. Divergent opinions on Agbo's path to recovery have emerged. Some advocate for restricting his roaming territory with the hope of expediting his healing and thwarting reinfection. Nevertheless, experts and officials counsel against such confinement. Stress, they contend, could further compromise his already weakened immune system, potentially diminishing the efficacy of his treatment. Furthermore, Agbo's colossal stature might render any physical barriers merely temporary obstacles. <laughs> Hey, what are you going to do? Wait, <laughs> wait, <laughs> 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 Tahu mana dah ini kan? Dah ini kan dah ro. Dua ini dah ni kerja dua mana? Kerai balik. Kau tu? Mata mata. Ini tu mampu. 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 Ya, 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 tenia. Ya, hold. Ya, hold, hold, hold. Ada yang dulu, ada.
Mangga, mangga. Oh, Harinya, oh, ah, mata nih, mana ya, karena maring, mana eh, maring, mana eh, maring, eh, kagak, memang dia berada di dua lari, eh, maring. Throughout Agbo's life, the shadow of human interference has loomed ominously. While many have offered financial and material support, a darker faction harbors sinister intentions, seeking to claim him as a trophy. Agbo's vulnerability underscores the urgency of responsible human interaction, channeled through official channels rather than direct visits. In the most recent update, Agbo's recovery has surpassed expectations, a testament not only to his unyielding spirit, but also to the collective efforts devoted to his well-being. Agbo's tale is not confined to him alone. It resonates as an allegory of the complex, often tumultuous relationship between humanity and the untamed wilderness. The choices we make shape this narrative, for Agbo's story is but a chapter in the epic tale of life unfolding on our planet. This account, recounted in words, merely skims the surface of the profound saga. Within these words, however, echoes both hope and warning, a reminder that our actions reverberate through the world, shaping it in turn. Choose wisely, for Agbo's story reverberates far beyond the jungles he calls home. Thank you. 